<clears throat> Hi there, I'm Leslie from The Social Effect and I'm here with Nicole, Chair of the Board for My Pathway, and Paul. So we're here to have a bit of a chat because My Pathway are one of our sponsors for Radiance, Illuminating the Strength Within, which is very much focused on um, women, the mental and physical well-being, illuminating the strength within, full inclusivity, there's a multitude of good things happening. So I just want to have a chat with Nicole and Paul, obviously, because they do a lot of good stuff in the community. Um, so we will touch on that, but I'd actually firstly like to, for you, if you can introduce what my pathway is about firstly, tell me about the organisation. So before we get there, mm. let's talk about the whole point of Radiance and it is about wellbeing and mental health. And as a woman of a certain age, I'm in that stage of menopause. So anything can happen, I could get cranky, and yet I'm going to own it. So it's going to be a fun story and a fun journey for all of us. Absolutely. So, And that's the very point of where we're going now in my pathway. Lovely. So uh, we've recently gone into a stage of uh, rebranding, rebirth, as we say, and it is very much focusing on the development, the connection, and the growth of, of the people that we work with, the people that we work for, the community that we're engaged in, and anybody else that touches us, the partners. Because it's all connected. It's all connected. And as we live here, it's yeah. important that we, we share this journey, we, we have that common purpose to actually promote issues that are around yeah. and embrace them. It's okay to own them. It is. It's okay to own them. So it's And Paul has to suffer through it. <laughs> Which I'm sure Which you I love every moment because you appreciate it and understand it. No, it's great that it's called out because you're it's awareness then. It is. It's all awareness. Absolutely. So how do you find running an organisation going through menopause? Uh, well, uh, the best thing about running the organisation through menopause is Paul. Because he does it. <laughs> As our CEO, he takes on the charge and will go, OK, Nicole, we just need to be mindful. Let's do it this way. Yeah. OK, great, love it. Let's do it that way. Um, but... Uh, it's easy because being this open and and having people around you that are connected are uh, family. I, I consider it a family business, and having those like-minded people around, it's very easy then to actually to project the business that we're trying to run mm -hmm. and have it be successful for everyone, all yeah. layers of who we talk, who we deal with. Mm -hmm. Again people, our staff, our, our partners, the community in general. Yeah. So for me, it is having a sound group of people around me that can level out my potential menopause, mm -hmm. uh, but also having the opportunity to work with people yeah. that are doing great things. And this is fantastic because mm -hmm. I think so often we, we downplay things, we try and push on, we don't talk about things as much as we should. But you can actually achieve so much more when people are aware of what's going on. They know the different, you know, moderations to consider in workways. And, you know, it actually helps a lot more to be able to just say, hey, going through this, what do we need to do? How do we need to tackle it? And so you actually owning that, stepping up, talking about it, helps other women to see, ah, oh, okay, women in a leadership position. Well, we go through it all. Yeah. And not, not that, yes, we should be talking just purely about menopause. Let's face it, it's, you know, only a part of life. Yeah. Um, I also have chickens, um, and that's a whole Which other story. Which is a whole story. other five minutes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, um, I have 11 chickens. Oh, I've only got five, but okay. <laughs> we will need to talk about that afterwards. Um, I've, I've lost the train of thought now. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a really great opportunity to own that and be honest about things. Yeah. And I think that's, that's something that's very critical in the way we do business now and the way the world is is starting to turn and the honesty factor is is critical yeah. so mm -hmm. if you aren't being honest about what's going on um, and what we're doing uh, you know there will be things that you, you you stumble over and you make mistakes over yeah. mm -hmm. but it's about going yeah but I did that and it's okay mm -hmm. I'll, I'll really try not to do that again or not do that again yeah. mm -hmm. and I think that's that's very much the key of who we are and why we so um, want to be involved in mm. opportunities like this. I think you know, <clears throat> talking about the honesty around it is building that trust 
and what it's actually done for me is one awareness yeah. you know to on certain days Nicole will call things out and I'll clock that and I go okay I just need to be mindful of that today but on a broader sense around the trust in the organisation mm-hmm. the awareness in the organisation around physical health mental health and how that actually does impact yeah. on people's daily journey you know and we all expect that when people come through the door in the morning that all that stays at home well the reality is that it doesn't we're human yeah. correct and so that you know, saying that leave your baggage at the door well that's just not realistic mm-hmm. and so as an organisation you've got to have the trust and the awareness and, and actually be able to deal with that in people's lives because honestly you know I spend more time uh, with my work colleagues than I do with my family during the week yeah. and so you've just got to be able to cater for all, all our moods and our physical and mental well-being whatever Absolutely. that may be mm. and I think that's beautiful I mean even from your perspective as a, a man working with women, because men and women, I mean, we're all one, we're all human, and to be, actually be able to appreciate the challenges that each of us go through to be able to work together is a really, really powerful thing. So, I mean, there will be a couple of guys coming to Radiance, and I love that because they want to know just how much better or how they can work in and understand truly, um, because that's when we do get the development, the progressions, when everyone starts to learn more from their point of view, not just within yeah. ourselves, yeah. not just. Um, in, yeah, I have the same thing with my husband. He's always, you know, wanting to learn a bit more about me, what he needs to factor in, consider, and vice versa. So the more all of us work in and appreciate the different, well, mechanisms of each other, personalities, experience, I think the, the more we can actually do. And I think, you know, tying in very much around the mental health uh, topic is physical injuries are usually very obvious. Yeah. You've either got a broken arm or a broken leg, and you can sort of, in this building, you'd cater for it. Someone walks in with a broken leg, well, you might have to hop in the lift and come up and not come up the stairs. But, uh, you know, quite often with the mental health, that it's not obvious to people. No. And unless uh, people are making you aware of something or you've got a, you're attuned to pick up triggers, then quite often it goes undetected or unnoticed in an organisation. And so business usually just soldiers on and, and tries to achieve its objectives and without giving consideration. So I think what Nicole has done in this organisation in terms of calling it out as, as she does, and not just here, I'm talking about in the whole office, yeah. uh, is a good thing. And it hopefully it builds that trust that other people can maybe call out or make other uh, mental health uh, issues what's broader as an issue in the business. And when we say call it out, it becomes part of the culture of the business. Mm. And by allowing that to be that honest approach, it actually opens up a whole world of opportunity for people. So they're not feeling like they have to, they can't say something or they can't act on something, but they can actually open it up. So Mm. it's very much, it's a very important factor in in running a business. And particularly as we get to the size that we are, Mm. It is all about the people that we work mm. with. So the mm. culture of our business is, is something that I'm really passionate about and hence the calling out. Mm. Um, but, you know, as is Paul and, and as is our whole team, it's, it's critical for yeah. us. So, you know, a couple of really ki- critical things that we've done more recently, which is really exciting and something that we've been working towards over, over a number of years. Is... I'll jump in here. Go! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, employer of choice for gender <laughs> yeah. equality. So we've had that for two years running now, uh, which is a significant achievement. I remember when I started back in 2015 and with uh, Mandy, who was here at the time, Nicole said to us both, this is very important to yes. me. And uh, we're doing most of it anyway, but now we need to make it known that we're doing it. And are we still and, the only North Queensland? Uh, far North Queensland, the only agency, or only company in Far North Queensland. And I think that's, that's a pretty proud moment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, to actually huge. be able to do that. Mm. And, and we, you know, we have, we have um, over 700 staff within the group. And that's, that's a pretty great thing that we can achieve mm. that. And maintain it as well. For <laughs> Correct. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Two, two goes running. So yeah. we're pretty excited about that, going for our third go now. So yeah. that's a great thing. And the good thing about uh, the accreditation is that the agency actually holds you to account. So it's not something you apply for yeah. and they go, oh, yeah, here's a nice certificate, yeah. there you are, put it up the wall. There's actually things you've got to do mm-hmm. and you've got to report on. And if you don't achieve their benchmarks, then they kick you out. Yes. 
And so for me, that's a really important accountability piece for the business mm -hmm. to not just um, walk the walk, but you've got to be able to talk the talk on it as well, yeah. which is great. And as Nicole says, you know, when you've got over 700 staff ranging from the Torres Strait all the way through to Tasmania, it's a pretty big reach mm. to try and get some consistency across mm. that footprint. Yeah. And the diversity in the business, you know, is significant. Because the bigger you get, obviously, the harder it is to make sure and ensure you do consistently meet those milestones, the Correct. benchmarks. So, and how do they get the feel? You know, it's yeah. a really important thing that while we have that, that culture within the office, to actually get that culture, expand that culture to yeah. all of our regions, it's it's you know a challenging thing mm. thing at times, um, but something that's really rewarding when it mm. works really well. Absolutely. So that's great. Mm. I think the other thing it means by the fact that you do that is also has knock on effect on the wider community because when you do make this standard, when people come in day after day into an environment where it is natural to, to talk about things, to raise the awareness, because I mean, whenever we talk about mental health, a lot of it is sometimes that we don't talk about it enough, or there's the isolation, or we mm. think we're the only ones going through things, but by making it known that, you know, a lot of these challenges, they are fairly common, everyone experiences barriers, challenges, and the more we talk about it, the more we realise you're not alone and you can do something about it. Absolutely. So being able to actually set the standard within the workplace, you can have more of a wider impact, obviously, on you know when people go home to their family, friends, whatever it is. I like to call that our ripple effect. That one person, you throw that stone in the pond, yeah. and how that radiates out. So by me making a decision about the way we are going to be and the way I'm going to conduct myself, and how that then affects my family, how that then affects the people within our business, which is our first layer of community, the next layer is the regions that we work in and then the people within our business and their families yeah. and it just radiates out. Yeah, so it, it, it affects, it, you know, it, it, it has impact on the whole community. Mm. Yeah. And we love it. We do. I we can do. tell, I can tell why we do what we do. <laughs> you know, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And we often refer to ourselves as being a people business. Yes. You know, we're not producing widgets as such, you know, we're, we're a people business and, and that reach of, you know, 700 plus staff from one end of the country down to the other, and the people that we actually work with on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, you're talking thousands of yeah. people directly involved, and then indirectly, you add all those ripples to that in families and communities you're impacting mm -hmm. on. You know, we take it very seriously. Yes. Yeah. So we don't talk too much to ourselves. We talk more about what we like to do and mm. what we're trying to achieve. So yeah, it's oh, cool. I love it. And you guys, you were one of our first sponsors to come on board for Radiance. So I guess because you could see Better the value, you could see the fit. Um, so, all the menopause and a like, multitude of other things that women and go through so it's really good to have you on board because you know it is September the 6th and we are supporting the Junction Clubhouse we'll see as they do um, very yeah. much provide the support of what, 90 to 110 people every week coming through their doors so is there anything else that you wanted to share you know for either people just watching or coming to the day about you know, why particularly, you know, the women female event that we haven't covered? Anything else that you wanted to talk about? Oh, I think we should just be celebrating ourselves. Yeah. yeah. I really do, and I think um, the celebration of, of a group of people coming together, like-minded, um, for a common purpose to actually support the development and ease the tension yes. is a great thing. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. I think key messages come out of our brief conversation <coughs> here is around being able to operate in a safe environment yeah. to raise awareness, but that takes trust. And mm -hmm. so, you know, to have those conversations, you've got to be able to find people you can confide in and trust and, and raise whatever your issue may be. Yeah, we've be. got to like each other. Absolutely, yeah. So I think that'd be the main message. Don't be afraid to call out what's happening with you, yeah. uh, but that takes sometimes bravery to ensure you've got the right support around you. It does. So to be able to provide an environment that is fully inclusive mm. of all, no matter what walk of life, no matter what stage of life, provide a vulnerable or a space to be open and vulnerable is, um, yeah, one of the key points. So that's that's what Radiance is all about. So Absolutely. Right. We can't wait to see you on the day. Yeah, it'll be Looking great. It's a it. good yeah. event, yes. Yeah. So if you haven't booked your ticket, time is running out, September the 6th, um, we have a multitude of speakers and things happening. It'll be a phenomenal day. 
So book now and we will see you then. Thank you for having the car. Thanks so Cheers. much. Thank you. See you.